modern transport is changing. And British Hovercraft Corporation's SRN4 is now in regular service carrying 254 passengers and 30 vehicles at speeds of 70 miles an hour. Bringing new standards of speed and comfort, the 180 ton craft operates day in, day out, 40 minute schedules across the English Channel. And suddenly, the Channel is half as wide. With Hoverloid, two SRN4s are in service year round between Ramsgate and Calais a distance of about 32 miles right across the notorious Goodwin Sands, exposed at low tide. Again, with two SRN4s, British Rail Sea Speed also operate year-round, but from Dover to Boulogne, this being about 30 miles. Sea Speed also schedule operations between Dover and Calais, the shortest channel crossing of only 26 miles, and taking just 30 minutes by hovercraft. But what does this unique form of modern transport mean to the passenger? Hoverloid's modern Ramsgate hoverport is modelled more on the lines of an international airport than a ferry terminal. As well as check-in, customs and immigration facilities, it boasts duty-free shops, banks, restaurants, bars and spacious departure lounges. Outside is the wide apron capable of taking several SRN4s. The fully amphibious capability of these craft allows the effortless transition from water to land. There is no mooring necessary with the SRN4, and passengers and cars disembark simultaneously within seconds of arrival. Vehicles unload right at the roadhead, not at the end of a long deep water berth. Passengers and cars pass straight into the customs halls, which are within the hoverport confines and where the latest procedures minimize delay. Holiday coaches are also carried aboard the craft, unloading whilst passengers clear customs and immigration. With its disregard for tidal conditions, fore and aft vehicle loading and unloading, separate passenger exits and almost total self-reliance on built-in systems for ramp, stair and door operation, the SRN4 offers the fastest getaway in international travel. Quick turnaround is the keynote of hovercraft operations, and neither passengers nor vehicles need travel far from departure areas. At this time, the SRN4 becomes an almost integral part of the overall terminal complex. Passengers embark amidships on either side of the craft, and vehicles load onto the spacious car deck, which is accessible from the passenger cabins. The hoverport terminal staff are readily able to deal efficiently with the steady flow of traffic, created by the combination of craft capacity and service frequency. Vehicles are steadied aboard the SRN4 by means of webbing straps secured to the wheels. This allows the suspension to gently absorb craft motion. Fore and aft car deck doors are hydraulically controlled and the bow door also forms a gently sloping ramp. A stepway leads from the car deck to the cockpit which is located above the bow, permitting an unrestricted view for the captain and crew. As the four Rolls-Royce gas turbines unobtrusively come up to full power, the SRN4 rises up on its eight-foot high skirt and glides down the ramp, across the sand, and begins its 40-minute hover to France. Whilst speeds of up to 70 miles an hour are achieved, normal block speeds are of the order of 50 miles an hour, still more than twice as fast as conventional ferries. Meanwhile, passengers are relaxing in spacious airline-style seating, perhaps sipping drinks brought round by a hostess. Large windows provide a panoramic view for all passengers, and the fully ventilated cabins are light and airy. Modern navigational aids ensure direct routing even under the most adverse conditions.
Little more than an hour after checking in at Ramsgate International Hoverport, the French coast and Calais loom into sight and the SRN4 skims smoothly onto the ramp. As at Ramsgate, a new terminal has been built at Calais, again with all the necessary facilities, including a downtown bus link. with its blue and white craft, operated the first SRN4 service across the channel from Dover to Boulogne. Although Hoverloid pioneered channel crossings using the smaller SRN6 on summer passenger services. Between them, both operators have proved the feasibility of cross-channel hovercraft operations. The configuration of Sea Speed's SRN4s is again for 254 passengers and 30 vehicles. Like Hoverloid, Sea Speed operate year-round cross-channel services which means that rough as well as smooth weather is encountered, especially in winter. The channel is renowned for its changeable conditions, and the SRN4 is well capable of coping with waves more than 10 feet high and wind speeds around 35 miles an hour. This is the true test of hovercraft and one which British Hovercraft Corporation has explored more fully than any other manufacturer. The Proteus engines, well proven in a marine environment, provide nearly 14,000 horsepower and drive 19-foot diameter propellers that are specially designed for hovercraft with low noise levels in mind. Normally operated by a captain, first officer and navigator, all crews have marine experience and qualifications. In typically rough conditions, the SRN4 starts its northward journey through rolling surf before meeting mid-sea conditions, but hovers through easily. The motion of a fully amphibious hovercraft on rough water is quite different from that of a conventional displacement vessel through it. Because of the higher cruising speed of the SRN4, the trip time is far less, and the basic hovercraft principle ensures additional stability. Conventional ferries take more than twice as long to cross the English Channel as an SRN4. And for world ferry routes of up to 70 miles, the hovercraft speed and very high work capacity will offer serious competition to established ferry operations in the future. The cushion of air contained by the flexible skirt absorbs the high loads generated by rough weather. Sea speed operating from Dover have proved conclusively that the craft is completely controllable in the confined environment of the harbour. Early worries were soon effectively disproved and the SRN4 has shown how easily this, the world's largest and fastest hovercraft, can manoeuvre in really confined spaces on land or water. Sea Speed's Dover hovercraft terminal is alongside the conventional ferry complex, but has its own arrival and departure facilities as a self-contained unit. Although the ramp at Dover is not large, up to four craft per hour can be accommodated, together with engineering facilities, which for the SRN4 means simple dry land maintenance and refueling. In conjunction with conventional air rudders, the SRN4 uses two other simple control techniques. Control wheel to the left turns the craft to port. Control wheel to the right turns the craft to starboard. Moving the control wheel forward accelerates the craft, 
backwards to slow down. As with the rudders, throttle operation is akin to that of an aircraft, and various controls, for example rear pylons and fins, can be operated in conjunction. The operation of the SRN4 is straightforward, and control and manoeuvrability powerful and precise. Over 100,000 hours of operational experience, with many craft types in every known climatic and geographic condition from the tropics to the Arctic, preceded the SRN4 into service. All five continents have been arenas for extended trials, tours and see-it-in-action demonstrations by BHC Real Hovercraft. Tested in fine weather and foul, over rocks, swamp, scrub, ice and snow, as well as dry land and water, BHC hovercraft operate in many differing utility and defence roles from North America through the Middle East to Australasia. It is this hard-won experience that has led to the SRN4 and put British Hovercraft Corporation in the forefront of hovercraft technology as unrivaled world hovercraft leaders. SRN4, a new transportation system for a new world.